Well, I got another attempt at comedy here where I'm just going to go over some things I remember in the past year. Let's just talk more about dogs as well here. So much so that I made a playlist where I put my videos in there where I talk about cats and dogs here. But, uh, you know, for AC number 15, attempt to come number 15, I'm just going to call this one. Funny nicknames that I've given to dogs. And, uh, you know, dogs are definitely always territorial. You know, how they, if you see them every day, either you live nearby or work nearby and, you know, it's just, you know, just their personality or the way they look or that. It just, there's just some funny nicknames I just get into dogs. And, uh, you know, of course, if you enjoy all my content, just to make sure you hit like, subscribe there. And, uh, you know, this is a sports fan taking a break from the sports. And, you know, attempt to comedy is one of the things I do here. And uh, let's just think of some funny nicknames I've given to dogs here and I know that uh, there's this one neighbor that I used to live nearby you know they always seem to had you know various dogs over the years here but this one in very very particular was very very funny and I know when I first saw it you know I was figuring out what breed it is and I was like oh they got a new dog it likes to bark at me and always Puts on a show, just the way how he jumps and ups and down, and growls and barks, you know, the growling builds up and then he barks, especially to walk away. And, I mean, this is one thing if a dog just goes to the fence and goes, rough, rough, rough. And there'll be another dog that I'll remember, I gave that nickname to that one. But, uh, you know, it's just one thing, you know, let's say they put on a show while they're barking at you. It's like, this is my territory, but uh, the other thing that stood out with this dog and I wound up being a blue healer here and I don't know I mean I definitely don't have the artistic enough talent to make a an animation out of it here and you know I almost gotta wonder if I could get in trouble from both ends if I made this you know an animated character in a cartoon if I was hypothetically making it but I mentioned he was a blue healer so I almost think you know it'd be funny if I just made a blue healer man colored blue here and would I worry that could that you know, I remember twenty years ago when we had that blues clues where it was a blue dog? That would be uh, you know, one thing. But I nicknamed this dog Droopy here because he had a little ear he had I mean, most uh you know you know blue healers or Australian cattle dogs or cattle dogs, you know, they have their ears like this and I think it looked when I first saw it, it, it had a little bit of a droop in it. So I called it Droopy ear and you know, it was a crazy name. Crazy dog. You know, and, you know, there'll be another person alive where I'll just give some memories about just neighbors' dogs. And uh, this dog definitely provided lots of memories, hilarious memories. But I called this one Droopy, or so I'm thinking, you know, there was a cartoon named Droopy. An old cartoon, uh, I believe it was Tex Avery that made it. Where it was just, you know, the monotone dog, and then Blue's Clues. What would happen if I made a cartoon character called it Droopy, or... And he was a blue here, and I made him blue. I mean, could that be enough that I can make that character? I'm sure it could, but uh, you never know these days. And he was like, well, you took it from that and that. And, but this, if I made this animated dog, this one would be opposite of Droopy, and he won't be Blue's Clues educational. This one would just be a crazy dog. <laughs> oh, he provided lots of memories there. <laughs> Droopy here. <laughs> that was, I mean, he would be you know, barked and growled at me. It was just funny. He puts on his show. And, and I remember I, I I did shovel snow for his neighbors. And, uh, you know, eventually I asked him, what, what breed are those dogs? I figured that one was a collie because they had a collie too. And, you know, the collie just suddenly barked. I mean, maybe I called that one small collie, but that's not an original name. But he's like, oh, yeah, that one's a collie and the other one's a blue healer. And he's nuts. <laughs> Yeah, he, he's nuts. <laughs> I didn't tell him I nicknamed him Troopier, but uh, I remembered that. And I'm like, oh, yeah, he's nuts. <laughs> but, uh, you know, oh, that's my that first dog there. I don't know what, I mean, I feel torn that, uh, you know, my Border Collie is obviously my favorite dog breed. And I mentioned that in many other videos here, but it's definitely torn if you have a Border Collie that hates you so much. And, uh, 
there was this one border collie that, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, for some reason, and I found out it was a female. Maybe that was even more so, because it seems like I have better luck when it comes to the animals, pets, with males than females. I grew up with male dogs, both well, border collies. That's obviously why it's my favorite dog breed, but this female border collie absolutely just hated me. So I nicknamed that one Disgruntled Border Collie. It was just how it barked and growled and, uh, yeah, I was just kind of torn. like, this is a border collie, man. This border collie's from, from, you know, hell here. Maybe I was related to that second border collie we had somehow. I don't know. But, uh, because the second border collie we had was too aggressive and, uh, you know, I had to give him, give him away there and, you know, just so we don't have the liability. But, uh, yeah, this disgruntled border collie was very, very aggressive and, I don't know. I don't know what she didn't like of me. <laughs> it's just kind of torn. You have your favorite dog be, but it absolutely hates you so much there. So, uh, that was that disgruntled border collie. And I remember there was one place they had a German Shepherd and, uh, they had a sign that said guard dog. So I just called it guard dog. And how he softly barks and then it gets, you know, louder if you get close to the place. And then, you know, it's just funny how the dog's like, whoo, whatever. And then it gets louder. I mean, Warning guard dog, but the generic sign, but, uh, you know, just stuck with that dog, and it was German Shepherd, and it perceives, some people think, when they think of German Shepherds, they, you know, they run for the hills, I mean, they were, you know, a lot of, but I hear they can be great loyal dogs, too, and, uh, you know, especially, you know, you're a police officer, and, uh, that's generally the official breed for the, uh, police is, the German Shepherds there, so there's guard dog here, and, you know, another dog that, uh, you know, when I talked about, you know, some dogs are just entertaining when you just walk by and protect their territory because they put on a show here. But I remember one day I was just walking by and I saw it a few times. And uh, it's also funny when dogs, they bark, they got to get right to the corner. they got to make sure their muzzle is right underneath the gate so they can bark or get into that corner so they can bark and say, I'm here. That's another funny behavior dogs do. But it was a black lab and he just went rough, 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 rough. Well, growl, and I actually called that one boring bark, and hey, that's the opposite of droopier. That uh, boring bark was, uh, he was entertained because he was boring, you know. He just went rough, rough, and growled, and, uh, you know, that's another funny nickname. It was called boring bark. I mean, that's some of the dogs that you regularly see that you just give it a funny nickname just by their behavior or you know, breed or whatever, but, uh, you know, those are the, definitely the ones that I remember, and, you know, always gives memories somehow, but, uh, you know, when you're always walking about, going to work or going home or whatever, uh, it was just hilarious about some of these dogs and their behavior, and, you know, it's just the nickname I gave it, and, uh, yeah, it's just, it's funny, you know, you walk by, they bark and protect your territory, but some definitely have a personality, and, uh, I also learned, going back to the neighbor that uh, used to shovel snow for, I remember that uh, you, it's questionable with the practice where they debarked this dog, because they, they debarked him, and he, you know, before, I mean, I remember they first moved in, and they had this dog, and he has kind of some kind of nasal issue, but I remember it barked, and you hear that big snort at the end, and <laughs> I found that hilarious. I didn't, I didn't know, if I, I didn't know, I didn't nickname that dog. I remember it barked, and then it takes a big very year to <laughs> snort. And then they debarked that dog because uh, they had problems with the uh, barking. And, uh, and then you hear it go, <laughs> then the snort. But uh, I know that one, it was, I, apparently I heard that that dog from those neighbors, it was so loyal, like it was still tough that they, they had to follow rules for that dog to accept them. That's why you hear some dogs, they could be so loyal and so hard. That you have to meet their conditions, which can be too much to handle. I mean, I, I don't know what's the other way to say it. Like if a feather fell on the dog, if a feather fell on its human, uh, it would definitely be, you know, extra extra protective somehow. But it wouldn't let its guard down. But uh, that's how I remember that dog. How it snorted and then it got debarked. And uh, I mean, there's questionable practices in that, but. Uh, it definitely did bark a lot, but I definitely heard the snorting, and uh, I remember that more, but I didn't think I gave that one a funny nickname. I think I remember they 
They just named that dog Shep because it was kind of a mixed breed from a German Shepherd. You know, that guard dog. But that guard dog looked like it was definitely a pure, pure German Shepherd there. But, uh, you know, I just can't really think of any other funny nicknames I've given to some dogs here. I mean, I, you know, I obviously either hear their name or I know just that one behavior that, you know, especially a small dog does, you know, I call that growling healing thing when they're like, that's what comes to mind. I just think of growling healing. It's only small dogs. Bigger, medium dogs, they, they don't do growling healing thing. It doesn't work with their voice box and their barking or growling. But it's just random. I call it growling healing thing. Just, you know, look for uh, videos on here, a small dog barking or growling, and you'll hear what I mean. I call it growling alien thing, so that, so yeah, that's definitely my attempt at comedy here, or just some funny nicknames I've given the dogs, like, you know, droopy or the scrum border collie, growl the guard dog, you know, boring bark, I mean, others I just, just can't think of anything, or, you know, I think I've used it once, and it's kind of hard to find another one, but, uh, you know, that's, that's the beauty of dogs, they, they're very, very entertaining. Whereas they like you or don't like you or protecting their territory. They have personalities too, just like us. And that's what I try to do on my channel here, more than just talking sports here. So as I say, if you want to follow along with this Calgary sports fan's journey, all the Flames, Edmund, Roughnecks, and St. Peters. I mostly talk Calgary sports, recap games, and stories here. But I also do personal vlogs and uh, attempt to comedy like this. You know, share some stories or try to Put a funny spin out, that's why I call it Tempt to Comedy here. And, uh, you know, I also do share my experiences and say I'm on the road. We're at a sporting event here, so if that sounds like you'll all be interested to watch too, follow along with this Calgary sports fans journey, you know what you need to do. Just make sure you like, subscribe. I also have my other social media links down in the description below here. And, uh, you know, if I ever, I don't know if I ever would consider trying to be a comedian, but, you know, I'll look back on these videos. And those are all material that I'll always have in my back pocket. You know, whatever I want to talk about. And this is one of those things I do. That's why I call it attempt to comedy here. Just gives me this creative outlet here. So, as they say, I'll see you in the next video. Whichever video you like to watch to along. Just make sure you like, subscribe if you enjoy my content. So, I'll see you in the next video.